Hi Year 3, so we're carrying on with the Firework Maker's Daughter today. You need to turn to page 42, and yesterday we read up to here, and Lila had just escaped from the Pirates and the Tiger, and we're going to head here now to see what Chulek is up to, so follow along with me. Meanwhile, Chulek was getting ready to smuggle Hamlet out of his new home. Smuggle? Hmm, what do you think that means? If he's smuggling him out of his new home, it's sort of like he's going to steal him secretly. The master had gone to bed early, groaning, but the slaves were still awake and Chulek had to distract them. Now listen, he said to them in the kitchen. You know you've got to do all you can to please the great white elephant, or else the king will be cross. They all nodded. Well, the elephant's a bit restless. He never sleeps well the first night in a new place, so we'll have to play a game of elephant's footsteps to cheer him up. You have to go and hide your eyes in the garden, and when you think you can hear him coming, turn around. He likes playing that. So that's the clever plan of Chulax, isn't it? He's sending all the slaves outside and telling them to cover their eyes and hide. They're not going to see him and Hamlet escaping. Go on, go and wait in the garden and I'll tell him when you're ready. The slaves all streamed out of the back door and as soon as they were hiding in the garden with their eyes shut, Chulak unlocked the front door and led Hamlet out the gate. It's a good thing they put down that carpet I ordered, he whispered. You don't half make a row on the gravel a funny expression make a row on the gravel so he's saying it's a good thing they put down the carpet because he makes a row so that means he's being noisy or he would be if the carpet wasn't there can we go past the zoo hamlet whispered no of course not never mind frangipani it's lila we've got to think about and stop breathing so heavily they tiptoed out of the gate and found lanchand waiting there with a tarpaulin just as Chulak had asked. So on Monday, you had to find out what a tarpaulin was. Did you manage it? So it's like a huge sheet, and it's a, sort of a protective sheet. Sometimes it's used for camping. It's often a dark color and often made of sort of a plasticky material. What's it for? Valchand whispered. So what did you predict? What was Chulak's plan? Let's see if any of you were right. For this, said Chulak, and made Hamlet kneel down to have it laid over his back so he doesn't show up so much in the dark. Remember, he's a white elephant, so he'd show up in the dark, so if you cover him with a dark material, he won't be as easy to spot. Huh, <laughs> grumbled Hamlet. It's hot and scratchy and it smells like a marquee. Couldn't you find a nice blanket? I don't think you realise your own size, Chulak said. Do be careful, said Lalchand. I ought to come with you. It's not a safe journey at all. Oh, I should have told Leela everything from the start. I should have trusted her. What a foolish old man I am. So how's Lalchen feeling at the moment? I think he's feeling quite guilty about everything, really, because if he'd been honest from the start, Lila wouldn't have run away in the first place. Yes, said Chulak. Still, never mind, we'll find her. Come on, Hamlet. And they set off. Lalchen stood and watched them for a minute until they disappeared into the dark streets. We're going to stop there today.